you have sponsorship through the hospital, but you applied for a green card. And in the middle of this, it gets turned down. They don't give you any better reason. I heard this, it kind of blindsided me because other than being from Norway, you seem to be exactly uh, who the president has said he wants in this country. Um, what did you make of the idea that you didn't fit the bill of presenting unique value to this country with the volunteering for the ski team and with helping all the dancers and all of the credentials and the lecturing all over the country and now spending a month of your life, 12 hours a day that you didn't have to, to fight for the people of this country? Yeah, I, I mean, I was blindsided. I was flabbergasted and so was my immigration lawyer and so was my chair of my department and everyone that I applied for. You're supposed to be an expert in your field and I am and I've proven that time and time again. And I was just blown away that it's heart wrenching. I, I feel helpless, honestly, and I can say that's the first time in my life that I've ever felt helpless. Um, I you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I could have done better. I don't know what I could have done any differently. Um, you know, I, I'm putting my life on the line every day to do this. And it's just, it's blowing my mind right now that they are not appreciating it or they don't see the value in, in what I'm offering uh, to do here. And it's, I'm honestly beside myself. I, it's like a slap in the face. Dr. J, we know there's a lot more to do with the process. We know you're asking for other review. We know there's appeal. I will not leave the story. I promise you that. I've never we got so far was it's on her to prove it. I don't know what else you could do to prove it. And there's no standard that seems to apply that you haven't met and beaten. So doc in touch.